Hey guys, this is Puchko Development here, and in this Coco Studio tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to follow a sprite. Uh, you, it works on all kinds of notes, not just sprites. You can follow a label, a label, or anything like that. I'm gonna call it follow. Let's create. Okay, hello world layer. Let's build it. I'm gonna open the dual screen view. Okay, it says hello world, but we're my, we will make it say one, just so you can see that we're actually moving it. Okay, now let's create a few different labels, delete this CG size code, we don't need it, I'm gonna call it label 2, it will say 2, it will be label dot position dot x plus 200 label 2, label 2 okay. not label 3, label 2 okay, like this that's a uh, label 3 I'm doing it so you can see that our spread is moving it's pretty difficult to see that on, on a black screen. I mean, not, not on, on a black screen, on a on a black background. It will be pretty difficult to see that. Okay, now let's build. Okay, so you can see one, two, and there is three. Okay, now let's add a sprite. CC sprite. I'm gonna call it sprite equal to CC sprite sprite with fella quotes. I'm gonna use icon small fifty dot png file. Sprite dot position equal to C C P will be size dot okay. Let me copy this code and put it on to the add it to the bottom of init method. C sprite C C P it will be label dot position dot x minus 100 and uh, size dot height self South at Charles Bright. Okay, and now let's build. So here is our sprite. I'm gonna move it more backwards. Okay. And now let's move it. So we'll create an ID. I will call it move equal to cc move by it will be cc move by you can use any actions it will work with any action that moves a sprite so cc move by 5.0 seconds and position ccp it will be 800 and 0 basically it will move 
by 800 pixels straight and we'll move 0 pixels up or down. And now let's get another ID. Okay, my bad. It should work now. It will be move reverse. So it will be a reverse move action. Move reverse. Okay. Now let's run action our sprite self. Run action. First we will run the move action. CC repeat forever. Action with action. CC sequence. Actions. Move. Move reverse. It is that simple. This will basically make our sprite move left and right forever. As you can see, it moves right. Oh, not an I ran action on our screen. We should run it on sprite. It moves our screen. Okay, as you see, it moves right. And how to follow it? It's really simple. It is self run action. CC follow action with target sprite. Action target sprite. Okay, let's build. Okay, as you see it now moves, and you can see that we're moving. And it will do this forever. <laughs> Pretty interesting. <laughs> now let's try to move it 300 pixels up. As you see, it is moving. It's going back. So we'll keep doing this forever. If you're still not sure if it works, if it, if you're not sure if it fo you still f it follows this, the sprite, you need just check this sprite variable. This variable makes the CC follow follow sprite, not anything or sprite, not anything else. So thanks for watching. If you want to learn more Cocos 2D and just have a quick open and look book on your iPad, please get SDK Tutorials Cocos 2D on the iPad App Store. It is available for just 99 cents. It is on sale now. Link will be down below in the description. So thanks for watching. Goodbye. Ah, uh, and I forgot to say, the a link to the source code will be in the description too. Thanks for watching, goodbye.